Hey, good morning. This is Scotty from the Gipper Group, and today I just wanted to walk you through the Ground Floor app. The Ground Floor um, app, and the reason I use this is because there is a great way to invest in real estate properties without having to go buy a full rental property, man it yourself, or try to do a flip. Um, you can get kind of the same returns without a lot of the same work. And that's through funding of properties that people are flipping or people that are buying to do buy and hold and then reinvesting. So uh, ground floor is kind of like a um, hard money lender in a way. Then they you know provide funds. And then what you can do is invest into these funds that have been allocated. And then you can also uh, you know, get the same returns as a hard money lender would without having to do all the actual legwork and making sure and have all this money tied up. So the cool thing is you can actually do, you know, be invested for as little as $10 per property. So easily something you can get started with as little as a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars you really wanted to. Um, you can set up the account, walk through. Um, so I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the things um, in the, that are available to you um, so in, I'm just going to go quickly to the investment tab. You can see I have $200 left in my account right here. And, you know, you can have notes or you can, you know, the, or you can look at the, lo the loans that are pre-funded here for you. So um, the notes are going to be, um, here's an example of some, uh, so here on the notes, um, you can see we can get 5% for one month, you know, minimum $1,000. Uh, you can do a 24 month for 10%. That's twenty five thousand dollars. So each each these kind of vary from month to month, um, and they fluctuate with interest rates. But you can say, hey, like I can get for a thousand dollars, I can get a seven percent return, and I'm just lending them some money. There, this is not invested in any properties. These are just a promissory note that you are doing. Um, so it's also a cool way if you don't want to take as much risk as all, and you just want to put lock away money for a year or, or three months. I mean, to get you know, even just one month to get a 5% return each month. That's pretty good. Um, but if you want to invest in properties, you can see that there's all every month and day, there are probably new properties added and you can see your expected rate of return, how long it's going to be get to paid off, how much their ARV to the loan to value evaluation is, uh, interest is deferred, how many investors have already put money in the total loan amount and how much money is left needed to be funded that account and how many more days and you can see your minimum investment you could do ten dollars in that property and if you want to learn more about that property you can you can see okay um tells you who's doing it who the principal person is um you can see the loading up here uh you can see some the address here this total loan to value, the ARV after it's, you know, the, what he purchased it for, when he purchased it, um, expected ARV, how much skin he's got in the game, his borrow experience, meant, you know, borrow experience, the total amount this ground floor is committed to, and how much equity is left in the property, and some maybe some photos, and then some miscellaneous data that's going to be included in there. You can read through. So you can get as complicated or, you know, with this and read about each person and, you know, uh, really just, you can really just get as you know complicated as you want, invest in, in all these properties. Um, the other thing you could try the wizard, which is pretty simple. And then with the wizard, it's going to, um, it's gonna just say, okay, hey, I wanna just take my full amount of money in my account. And I've already invested some earlier, but uh, so you can say, okay, you can pick your strategy. I like I like the moderate strategy, but it's gonna review. And so it's, it's gonna take this $200 and then match it up with these got 54 properties that match it. So um, if I do the minimum, the minimum is $10 is on, I can put the $10 in per property and it's gonna put it in 20 different properties. And so you see it invested in these first 20 properties. And then I won't do it quite yet, but then you can go ahead and, and say, okay, yeah, I authorize those things and go to purchase. And it's going to tell you, oh, good job. Hey, look at there. Uh, here's your blended rate of return to expected 
um, my 20 different properties uh, that I've invested. And you can view all those investments too if you wanted to, to see what, uh, you know, each one of those are, um, you know, like I say, you can get as detailed or, um, so you can see, you can save your strategy, but like the, the, you could pick individual properties or you can pick, you know, um, you can pick the individual properties too, if you wanted to, if you want to go through and do all those things. So the moderate strategy I picked doesn't do like, it reduces the risk a little bit by not doing the C's and, and, and I'm sorry, not doing the F and E's properties. Um, but it's just a really cool app um, just to show you kind of this simple side of investment in here. I mean, um, maybe if this video gets any views, I'll go ahead and do a little deeper dive on some of this, but I just wanted to show you what you're able to do. You know, the other cool thing too, is right now, if you are, um, you know, looking to do this yourself, I, I'll include a referral link at the bottom, uh, or in the information of the YouTube here, and you can click on that and you can get a free $50. So if you invest a thousand dollars, you get the free $50 credit. And then so that's a free $50 to you. So. Um, it's a nice five percent return. So I'll include this link below for you. Um, hopefully, you found this video helpful. Another way to invest in properties without you having to do a bunch of the work, but you still get all the properties are backed by actual properties. So it's real hard assets that these are backed by in the rates, uh, the interest rates you're getting, the rate of return you're getting. Um, you know, uh, is pretty good. Uh, if you go look at my investment activity over here. Right here, so we're under the uh, repayments section right here, and you can see the performance of all my. Uh, you know, there's a couple that defaulted in here. Um, so instead of getting a 10.2 return, I'm getting a five. I ended up getting a five percent return, which is still not bad. Um, overall, still a 9.2 percent return on all of the money I invested. So, um, you know, I haven't put any money into notes recently. There's none there, but. Um, I did put some money in the past and, and ended up getting like a 6.8% return and nine, you know, I ended up getting $900 off my $30,000 invested. So, I mean, overall I've done both. Um, obviously the notes, there's no chance of really defaulting on those, um, where there are chances of defaulting, but even when the defaults, it's not like I'm losing all my money. Um, it's not, my return was a little bit, you know, was half of what was expected of the 71. So in total, you know, it's, what percentage is that? It's like eight eight hundred seventy one divided by seventy one divided by eighty seven. It's like an eight percent default rate. It looks like so, and I still got paid on that money. It's like still got you know five percent return. So ten percent would have been two you know uh, twenty eight hundred bucks there. So um, I'm sorry, uh, out of the twenty eight hundred bucks, it would have been you know two hundred eighty dollars probably. But uh, you know it probably took a little longer. Um, so overall, I still feel like this is still a pretty safe investment. Um, this is currently how the, these investments that are currently open right now, I have 884 loans out, you know, uh, still getting, still expected to, you know, of these defaulted ones are expected to still pay me nine. We'll see if it actually, you know, plays out. Um, so I have 80 loans of default out of the 480. So right now, um, and you can see, they can check on information. So seeing the, uh, economy there uh, was at 80 44 so like a 16 percent default rate so far um, you can see some of this is defaulted right here this example um, so I had fifty dollars invested I expected during that and current earnings are zero right now so I haven't been paid back on that one right now so um, I'm sure they're gonna take the property back let's see foreclosure uh, earlier this month and they're waiting for the sell. So they're expected to sell the property and then take the property back, right? Where they can get the money back from the sell of the property. So that's a good thing about these, this type of investment. You are, you know, um, it's not just a company shuts down and clears a bankruptcy. Usually if they don't even finish the job or not able to sell the job, maybe they did the work. Each case will be different. Each property, be, there's still a risk associated with each property. I'm not getting a return, but like it's leased back by some kind of hard asset that they can default on and take the property back. And the good thing is I don't have to do anything, right? 
you know, it's, it, it's keeping me updated. You're like, Hey, this is updated, uh, earlier this month and they're expecting judgment. So I'm sure they'll update this again after the sell. So, uh, I just really like this way of investing. It allows me to invest in hard assets without actually having to do the hard work. So, like I said, if you, uh, I mentioned earlier, if you do want to, you know, invest to, uh, uh, there's a referral program. I would suggest you just each get a brief 50 bucks. All right. Thanks.